Hi, my name is Dennis Beatty. Usually I create videos about how to build cool things in Elixir. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to use your tools better. Uh, specifically, uh, I'm going to be showing you a cool trick that I learned in Atom on Friday. And this is something that I had never seen before, but uh, it's greatly enhanced my productivity and I'm hoping that it can do the same for you. So basically, anytime I create an app in Elixir, um, I'll have multiple environments for it. And I would like to use environment variables to set my configuration in production. But when I'm working in my development environment or in testing, um, I would rather just hard code those so that I don't have to source an environment file every time. And so I have a block of code that sets my configuration for production using environment variables. Um, what I want to do is I want to change each of these to just um, be a string that contains the, the name of this key. So typically what I would do in order to do this is just use a simple find and replace. Um, you can use the regular expression mode. And so I'll go ahead and show you, start out showing you how to do that. So each of these you'll see is on its own line. So we'll start it with a new line and then two spaces. Then we have a lowercase a through z with underscores and we can have any number of those followed by a colon and then a space and then system.getEnv and then an opening parenthesis and quotation marks. We have to escape both of those. Um, and then we'll have a capital A through Z with underscores and there can be any number of those followed by an escape double quote and an escape closing parenthesis um, and then a comma, except this last line doesn't have a comma so that can be optional. So now we have each of those selected, and so then to actually print out what we want, we're going to say a new line followed by two spaces, and then we're gonna use a capture group. So let's put parentheses around this piece um, to create that first capture group, followed by a colon and a space, and then we'll have our double quotes, and then that same capture group again. And finally, uh, the comma, if we have it. So let's just put another capture group around that and say dollar sign two and so then we can use replace all and voila we have exactly what we want um, but what i found is there's actually another way to do this that i think is slightly easier so this way you don't have to remember any regular expression um how that works or anything so we can go ahead and close this um what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using multi-cursor mode so if you use Command-D or Control-Z on Windows, um, after highlighting some text, it will highlight the next instance of that same text. And you can do that um, multiple times. So if I highlight all of these system.getEnv calls, then I can use Shift-Control-E, and that will highlight to the end of each of those lines. Then I can just use Backspace to delete that. And finally, I can arrow over three times, and that gets us onto those words. And if I use Command-D or Control-D again, um, that will highlight each of those words. Now, this is the part that I didn't know about, is you actually have a separate clipboard for each of those cursors. So if I hit Command-C to copy, and then move over again, and hit Command-V to paste, um, it's actually going to paste those words. So I'm gonna put my double quotes, and then paste, and then double quotes again, and then I'll put my commas, and then I can go in and delete this last one. And so by doing it this way, um, I can actually do this a lot faster without having to remember any of the any of the weird things about regular expressions. Um, I don't have to think about escaping characters or anything like that. And I can get this in the format that I want much quicker. So I hope that this will help to boost your productivity as well. And if it does, I'd love to hear from you. Um, please reach out to me on Twitter or in the comments below. And I would love it if you'd subscribe as well. I hope to be creating several more great videos about both Elixir, about Atom. Um, I'm thinking about doing some with iOS and macOS development as well. Um, but if there's anything in particular you're interested, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.